shut the fuck up. Like, in how many years you're gonna get a crib falling into, like, these love bombs? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Adabola Bencole. So as you guys can see from the title of today's video, it is ultimate freshman advice. Everything you need to know for your freshman year. I am going to be a junior this year. I am class of 2026, so I'll be a junior this year. So everything that I'm saying and I'm saying right now is coming straight from here. I don't got no notebook. I didn't pre-write it. I didn't do nothing. So I'm just going to be saying it like from true experience and like from all that stuff so first let's talk about the mindset if you're going to school like freshman year you're going to school with oh the mindset that oh all these boys from me looking cute girl shut the fuck up like you're you're you should not be worrying about boys right now you haven't even got to school yet and you're already thinking about all the boys you're finna meet oh how cute they finna look no your mindset should be Oh, I want to get these grades up. Oh, I want to get into a good college. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. Because colleges really look at your grade during your freshman year. Don't be one of them people that skip in the halls every five minutes. Babe, your grade needs to be looking good. Like, they need to look good. If you want to get into a good college, your grade, your grades need to look good. Just because your friends is in the hallway, don't be in the hallway with them. Say, oh, no, nah, like, I got to get my grade. I got to do this. You do not want to be, trust me, you do not want to be, the person when it's fourth quarter, third quarter, like you in class now just to get your grades up. College is going to look at you and be like, dang, she did bad freshman year. I wonder how, how bad she did sophomore year if she did bad freshman year. They're not even going to want to give you the benefit of the doubt. If you already fell first quarter, second quarter, the college is low low-key going to be like, what the hell am I even looking at? You need to fix yourself. Um, Be friends with some of these teachers. Like, be friends with them. To the extent that like okay even if they get mad with you like you're still cool with them like me for example i'm cool with some of my teachers like do it that was during my freshman year as well as my sophomore year so now during my junior year like i could just go to them wave hi you know say hi we could talk you know chit chat be friends with some of your teachers don't be don't be trying to be cool be from with these teachers talking about some oh that bitch ugly she did this she gave me a bad way she's saying okay Okay, she gave you a bad grade, but, like, have you tried talking to the teacher about it? About, like, how she gave you a bad grade? Have you, like, attempted to talk to the teacher? Okay, if you didn't attempt, I don't want to talk. I don't want to hear none of that nonsense. You have to at least try to, like, me, me, I'm not even joking for real. Like, me, yeah, I'd be mad. Like, I get pissed if my grades are not good. Like, if I'm like, oh, I did all the work, and then you're going to give me this grade, yeah, I get pissed. But at the same time, I at least try to make an effort to, okay, I at least go talk to the teacher before I start jumping into conclusions. Maybe they haven't even finished putting the grade in yet. Maybe it's an error. We don't even know. You always got to, like, make sure that you, um, you be friends with the teachers also um if you know that your grade that what you got inside that class is like not what you did like all the assignments all the work everything make sure you do a grade appeal um my school takes grade appeal very seriously i don't know about other people's schools but my school takes grade appeal very seriously so just ask for a grade appeal and like it will help boost up your grade so grade appeal basically like if you got because some people don't know what it is so if you got a bad grade like let's say on your report card like you got a C but inside that class like you did all the work and you know that like you deserve a B or A so what you do is you fill out the grade appeal and then your teacher will see it. I think the administration sees it as well and then they fix it so now on your record it might not change on the computer but it will change on the physical paper so then on your record it will be like Oh, on a computer, it might be a C, but on the physical paper record, it would be a B or an A or whatever grade like you ask to change it to. Um, next, let's talk about these boys. These boys ain't shit, y'all. They're not even men. They're boys. Don't be like, don't be falling into like these love bombs, like with all these boys. Like they're not, they're not it. Like lots of like don't. How am I going to say this? Like, don't be, like, too into the into your relationship. And then you're not even actually dating. You're still in the talking stage. Don't be doing that. Don't On the first day of school, bro, don't a boy come up to you. Are you fine? You giggling. And <laughs> don't 
don't know you gotta make them be like oh like she keeping her composure like oh she don't f with that you gotta like okay they come up to you oh can i get your number are you cute and then you give them the number just like be like thank you thank you i'm cute um here's my number and just walk away like don't be all to like <laughs> thank you thank you oh yeah heard that. You got me. no like no do not do that then they're gonna start looking like oh hell no nah, never mind never mind and also like it depends on the way you like put yourself out there is the way people are gonna perceive you so if you put yourself out there like oh like all the boys come up to me like oh period poo everyone's gonna look at you like you probably think oh everyone is like oh like oh my gosh you heard of that girl like she is so pretty not everyone not everyone is like that they, they will be sneak dissing you from the side and be like oh that bitch oh she stole my man she stole that girl man have you heard her pussy stank does it that's how they're gonna be doing it and you you're not even gonna you're not even gonna know because they're just gonna be all giggly giggly around you like hey girl like what you doing and then right after oh hell no that bitch she's dang she was over here talking about some oh my man did and then your life is just over then then and there do not do that like don't try and act like all like oh that, that man come me kill right here trying to do all that um next make sure that um you do participate in sports that was one of the mistakes that i made as a freshman and as a sophomore i did not do no sports um sports can get you scholarships especially if you do it as a freshman so sports can get you scholarships um let's say for example soccer and you don't really know how to play it that well but you want to like play it um my school i don't know about other people's schools but my school we have conditioning so the conditioning is during the summer and like they help you the coaches help you like just to get better so like when it's actual training tryouts like oh at least the coaches know who you are they know your name and maybe they know like the potential that you have so they'll actually let you on the team other than you just showing up to tryouts and then you're just like you don't know anything you're not doing anything kind of like that um next what else did i want to talk about these fights do not be in a fight y'all do not be in a fight because oh this girl's talking to my man oh this girl disrespected me oh this girl this did this, this okay the girl is talking to your man okay let the man have her at this point you can go and find yourself another man if you're that desperate for one like if you're that desperate for for a boyfriend so bad go find yourself another one and if you're not desperate like just leave like let let that girl have him because who knows maybe that guy's two time in both y'all and then okay let's say the guy's two time in both y'all don't go and fight the girl go and be friends with the girl and you know just make memory be, be, and then you guys just laugh it off like oh can you imagine that he even try and play both of us can you imagine in our face yeah life like that and just because someone disrespected you keep your composure i be keep your cool don't be like oh that bitch disrespect me i'm gonna throw hands i'm gonna throw hands no you gotta be like i don't even care like honestly because you gotta think about your future self you gotta think about your future life you gotta think about what you want okay you fight and then when you go to college they're gonna be like oh i heard you was fighting when you try to get a job they're just gonna keep bringing up the fight and then and every time you're just gonna be like oh i didn't know what i was doing they do not care they do not care because you're not in elementary school you're not even in middle school you're in high school your brain can process what you're about to do your brain you know what you did you know what's bad you know what no you know what's wrong from right exactly let's say if it was someone in elementary school they still their brain is still processing little by little but you you was in high school you're about to go your your next stage of life is college and you're saying oh you didn't know this or you didn't know that they're not gonna listen to you they're not gonna listen to you they're just gonna shove you aside and then not only did you get into one fight two fight three fight four fight shabby you want to kill yourself why are you fighting 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 stop getting into fights like if you in middle school like if in middle school you used to fight don't get into no fights bro don't get into no fights because some people too they might look at your middle school record as well and just be like oh she used to fight but then when she got into high school oh she changed but if you doing oh she used to fight in middle school and then she fought in high school and then and when you were in college they over here trying to see and then they go they're gonna be like oh hell no we're not bringing her over here when all she can do is fight 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 stop fighting stop fighting stop fighting um what's the other one that i wanted to talk about um procrastination oh my gosh freshman year is not too bad depending on the school my freshman year was pretty good um 
the stress can be a little bit a little bit and a lot because sometimes some teachers just want to put out like homework homework every day like homework homework back to back like back to back to back to back to back like freshman year like the first day of high school is not no oh hi let me get to know you no it's not they get straight into action like straight into action straight into work they're not messing around they're not missing no time so you don't want to get too stressed out with that what i do is i usually take some time like off like let's say um i have a video to film and then i also have homework so what i'll do is when i'm in school i will try my best to get the homework done because i know oh when i get home i'm probably gonna sleep i'm probably gonna eat i'm probably gonna do all these things so i'll try my best to get the homework done in school okay let's say i don't get the homework done in school i um actually try and just like <sighs> when i get home eat quickly do the homework before i fall asleep and sometimes take a nap take a nap don't like stress yourself out too much take a nap when you wake up um just do the work that's sometimes how it usually works um be friends with like like-minded people that are just like you you don't want to be friends with someone that's like like let's say you act a certain way like hey, 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 and then they look at you like oh no you weird then that friend is not for you my friends they fit in like my type of circle so you know we all act the same way all talk the same way all chit chat the same way and me i'm not really a social per social uh, sociable person and a lot of people aren't sociable people either um i don't know how to teach you to overcome like being like to being not social because i'm not like that social but what i would say helps is just like just being calm just like thinking oh like they're not even gonna care for real just like acting like regular because when you like when you start acting all like weird people are just gonna be like oh my gosh what is wrong with that girl like take this deodorant and this lip gloss for example these are two different people so lip gloss is like hey 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 deodorant knows that him and his friends be acting like that so he not even gonna bother looking at you like he, he not gonna care because he knows okay i'm not even gonna be judging her because me and my friends act that way me and my friends you know chit chat the same way but you you doing um flip-flops across the floor cartwheels thinking oh i'm gonna get all the people's attention deodorant gonna look at you like baby girl what the hell is you doing get your ass off that floor like that's how everyone's gonna be looking at you they're not even gonna be looking at you off QC. they're gonna be looking at you like who the hell is that girl she needs to get her ass off the floor and that's how they're gonna be looking at you it's not even gonna be cute it's gonna be you're gonna be looking like i was gonna be staring at you and then your even your own friends just gonna want to be like go get up get up get up <laughs> I'm not even serious. Um, join clubs, groups, activities. Um, join sports, just like I said. Join clubs, group activities. Make sure to join things because you want to get as much extracurriculars and as much community service as possible. Pressure. I don't want to sound like a parent and say if your if your friend said jump down the bridge, <laughs> would you jump? But prep pressure, like like think about it your friends are smoking weed you know weed is bad for your lungs you know you're gonna be <laughs> you know your lungs gonna be damaged so why the hell would you go with your friends to go and smoke that weed instead of you to to tell your friends oh no nah, y'all should not do that they might they might even start having a change of mind because oh you know like what she's saying is low-key right you instead you going with them and then all your now all your lungs is pop up pop up pop up pop up don't like don't don't fall into that trap don't fall into that circle don't fall into the wrong don't fall into the wrong circle of people yeah that's the word don't fall into the wrong circle of people make sure to be yourself because like if you're not yourself like people are not going to like you for being yourself they're going to like you for the other version that they saw so if you're like if you're usually like this someone 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 might just be admiring you from the side of the classroom and be like oh that girl is really pretty she looks nice i'm trying to be her friend and the next thing you know you guys are just friends but you act like a lunatic like you're the kids like you don't have no sense and then and then people just like oh hey, um. 
but some people might like you acting like a lunatic and like you the clits so, so so some people are actually different from other people so you know you can't really like put into perspective like how other people think um next don't care about what these people say and i i'm still like going there little by little you know sometimes a little bit of judgment comes far but i feel like you just have to like think about like your well-being about where you want to be in life and like about like in how many years you're not even going to see these people anymore these people that are laughing at you making fun of you making jokes of you they might just be homeless on the streets you that's what you have to think about you just gotta think about the better moment of it and just having fun and just laughing and just joking around and stuff because th let me tell you an example this one time my friends lifted me up in class they like i was outside and then like they literally from outside they took me and they lifted me up and they brought me inside the class no one cared no one cared like we were all laughing like we were all joking giggly gaggling no one in that class ain't nobody cared because they're all doing their own things and they all know that they probably act like that too so when you're like just overthinking about what people are gonna think and stuff i feel like it really does take a burden on you and it really does like not make you like act like you know how you want to act and sometimes that happens to me too i'm not saying like oh i i, I i'm perfect i'm not perfect but I try my best sometimes to, you know, overcome it and get over it. But that is the end of today's video. I pray that I touched on all the topics that you guys want me to touch on. Um, if you guys like these type of videos, um, because you guys really like my hygiene video. But if you guys like these type of videos, these type of sit down videos, let me know. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.